Hey all you cool cats and kittens. Uh, today is Sunday, March 29th, um, and we're back with another edition of the Poem of the Day. Um, I mentioned this poem yesterday um, because I, I, I originally had planned on reading this one yesterday um, until um, my wife had um, sent me a poem by Tracy K. Smith, which maybe you saw yesterday, and I had already been thinking about Tracy K. Smith and reading a different um, a poem that she had written. Um, and so, in any event, um, I knew, I knew, I knew, I knew that I would read this poem today. Um, and um, I love... One of, my, one of my favorite things about poetry is um, just the ability to capture little moments and, and observations. And sometimes, you know, we can get, not caught up, but um, in, in English class, for example, it's really easy to, like, really English class something. Um, and, and you know, as Billy Collins says, to, to beat a poem, tie, tie a poem to a chair and beat it with a hose. Um, but I think sometimes my favorite poetry, some of my favorite poetry is, um, it's just, it's an observation, um, it, it doesn't have to be a grand metaphor. It doesn't have to be a, a huge comparison. There is, um, a larger sort of comparison happening here. Um, but I don't, um, I just think the, 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 the everyday sort of moment that's captured, um, and, and related in, in fairly straightforward language. I don't want to call it plain language. It's not plain language. Um, it's just a very straightforward poem and I think it's beautiful and, and, and I love this poem and, um, it's, it's one that I'm happy to, um, happy to get the chance to share with you if you're here. Um, so this poem is called The Gift by Lee Young Lee. <clears throat> to pull the metal splinter from my palm, my father recited a story in a low voice. I watched his lovely face and not the blade. Before the story ended, he'd removed the iron sliver I'd thought I'd die from. I can't remember the tale, but hear his voice still, a well of dark water, a prayer. And I recall his hands, two measures of tenderness he laid against my face, the flames of discipline he raised above my head. Had you entered that afternoon, you would have thought you saw a man planting something in a boy's palm, a silver tear, a tiny flame. Had you followed that boy, you would have arrived here, where I bend over my wife's right hand. Look how I shave her thumbnail down so carefully she feels no pain. Watch as I lift the splinter out. I was seven when my father took my hand like this, and I did not hold that shard between my fingers and think, metal that will bury me, christen it little assassin, or going deep for my heart. And I did not lift up my wound and cry, death visited here. I did what a child does when he's given something to keep. I kissed my father. Um... In, in looking back, um, you know, there, there have been a handful of poems already, I think, that I've chosen, um, I don't know if it's subconsciously or, or what, um, about how moms rock, because moms rock. I've, I've, I have so many awesome um, examples of awesome moms around me. Um, and dads rock too. Um, I'm really fortunate. I love my dad. My dad's the best. Um, and I am, um, I think about my dad all the time, um, especially now that I am a dad, um, and I know that, um, as an English teacher, we, we read a lot of things where, um, maybe the characters are trying to avoid, um, avoid repeating something that, they learned or something that was taught to them or even just a general sense of behavior. Um, I 
am very fortunate, and I know not everyone is, but I'm very fortunate in that I try, I am constantly thinking about how I can um, be just like my dad. I would love to be just like my dad. Um, that would, oh man, that would be, um, I would be more than, more than pleased <laughs> um, if I could end up being like my dad. Um, so, um, this poem really spoke to me because, um, it just made me think about my dad and how much I love him and, um, you know, how much he, um, we often think about like the big things that parents give up for us, um, and guardians give up for us and, and, you know, family, um, but sometimes it's the tiniest little things um, that stick out too. So, um, yeah, I think I'll leave you with that. So thank you again for joining. Um, this has been another edition of the Poem of the Day. We're, um, we're fast approaching April. Um, so I, um, I hope everyone is taking care. It's raining out there today, which is why we're coming at you from inside. Uh, and yeah, keep washing your hands. Be good to each other. And we will see you again tomorrow for another poem of the day.